Ah, what a beautiful day. You know what? I'd like to browse the internet and see what YouTube has gotten to. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another calling video. Same shit, huh? How's it going, oh you cute fluffy giraffes? Um, can never do that one again. Welcome back to a brand new video, which is, in fact, another edition of Judgment. This is where I take a peek at a video and just go ham and criticize it. Could be anything, really. I mean, I could make a video about a dab compilation. <laughs> but I'd rather criticize something that is somewhat relevant. Meaning I can't criticize my own creations. Oh god, I'm depressing. Anyway. You may have seen the title already, but this edition is called The Phone Call Fabrication. Ooh. To fabricate something, courtesy of Google, is to invent or concoct something, typically with sightful intent. So you could be making a poisonous soup for your family reunion, meaning you would be fabricating a soup because it's for the sightful intentions. Or your friend could blow their nose with a tissue, but it turns out you created a whole box of tissues covered in chloroform. Hey, hey, it happens. In this case, phone calls are being created to deceive people. And this isn't the case of a telemarketer where the robotic voice says you just want a state-of-the-art toaster to which you put your grandmother on the phone and tell her it's Richard just like the gay guy from our accounting class back in the World War II era. <gasps> this disciple act is being done by children. Usually you would say, oh, prank calls, but no. They are much, much, Worse. Probably exaggerating on that one, but they pretty much have no reason behind them except the full innocent little kindergartners and, you know, draw in views, plus the occasional dislike. Spanking a dislike! Now, I'm not specifically firing words at its Jacob right here. A lot of YouTubers make this kind of content, okay? <coughs> Even though. 91.64% of his videos have this clickbait. <laughs> what, what? Oh, Lord. Anyway, let's just um, see the uh, other video. Now, in today's video, I will be calling Boss Baby himself. If you don't know who that is, it's a new video that's, well, a new film that's recently been put out in cinemas, which is where um, this baby takes over this household. He's only about, like, six months old. He, he, he thinks he's a boss. It's really funny, guys. I actually haven't watched it yet, but I've seen some of the trailers, which I am probably going to watch soon. So, he's uh, a fictional character. Great. You know, you, you could just call Alec Baldwin, right? Just find his leaked number. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't trust the Instagram comments, though. It's likely that whoever is on the other side of that call probably resembles that guy from Rise with Strangers. Good Hi. evening, child. Huh. But before this video starts, right, if I can down this glass of water, that's a lot. Look at that guy, that's a lot. I, I mean, it's, it's not that much, okay? In five seconds, guys. Right? You have to. You have to smash that like button. Now let me just get a timer. You ready guys? Three, two, one, go. You have to smash the like button, guys. I am calling 120% bullshit. You said if you could down that cup of water, which honestly didn't look like that much, by the way, we'd have to like the video. As in, no second thoughts. Just click on that useless placebo like button. But you didn't down it in five seconds. You transferred the water to your mouth in three, and then took about a second and a half to tap the stop button. Didn't even swallow the damn thing. So you, in fact, 
did not succeed. Ha! Also, yes, if I may point out real quick exactly what did that have to do with the video? This, this just kind of shows that YouTubers love likes. To the point where, like, they'll do a lot of things for likes. A lot of people, including me, just say, you know, hit the like button or get give this video a like or whatever. Others, however, have about a million different things to get people to like their videos. Cough, cough. Shout out Sunday. You have to. I, oh. Guys, do it for me. And also subscribe if you're new, because that will mean the world. Whatever. You didn't actually do it. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Look, this is, this is Boss Baby's number. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, it's actually just a picture of Boss Baby in your contacts and, uh, I don't know if you could, uh, scoot your hand down a bit. For anyone who has no clue how these videos work, the YouTuber changes one of their contacts name and picture to match whoever they say they are calling, and then the friend that they changed answers their call or texts back to act like the person. Yes, it's fake. Also, if you'll look up right now, it says Gullible Balloon permanent marker right above you. Please don't fall for that one. I'm gonna have to give him a call. Come on, I'm hoping the last baby picks up. Look guys, it's ringing, it's ringing. It's ringing. Come on. Guys. Boss baby? Boss baby? Oh my gosh, boss baby. What are you are you, are you a boss in real life? Okay. The biggest pet peeve I have about these calling videos. It's not the clickbait, not the video being fake. It's the acting. Holy shit. If you want to make it seem like something is actually real, you gotta act like it's real. Oh shit, oh shit, the fuck is that? Oh fuck, spider, god damn it. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. There actually was no spider there. The trick is to make it seem like it's real. Kinda obvious. What? I don't, I don't believe this is actually you. By the look on Jacob's face, I can tell he's thinking the same exact thing I am. That right there ain't Alec Baldwin. It's more like Ashley Olsen from Full House. Pretty hard to tell who it even is, actually. You can hardly tell what the bloke was saying. Say, um, aubergines, this, this is you. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. This is boss, baby. This is mad. Imagine if this is how he reacted to hitting 50,000 subscribers. You hate what? Say that a bit louder. I hate puppies. Alright. Love how you integrated the movie's plot into your video, but could you do me a favor and, uh... <clears throat> Step back a bit from the camera. Yo, know, I feel like that guy from Aladdin who wanted to sell us the lamp. Too close, a little too close. Will that break? Will that... It broke. Poppies. 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 They get all the attention. What? They get all the attention. They get all the attention. Do you want all the do you want all the attention? Are you are you are you a nice guy or a bad guy? Right! Before I die of boredom, let's go to the end! It's ridiculous, oh my days. My god. Anyway, this wasn't the only video we're gonna watch, you know, <laughs> stack up that watch time. We are going to see Derv call Mr. Trump himself. Drop a like on God damn. Well, there's Trump. There wasn't kidding. Hey, that's more like. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh my. My heart. Drop a like on this video if you are happy Donald Trump has won. And also drop a like on the video if you're sad that Donald Trump won. So either way, 
Drop a like. Oh, he played that well. See, kids, if you hate Trump, you like the video. If you adore Trump, you still like the video. Also gotta love how the very first thing he says is, drop a like. We don't even know the full extent of what you are doing. What's up guys, my name is Dove and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Now before we get into this video, a few things I'd just like to say. First thing... Might I just say real quick, he's moving his head less than Marina Joyce. Carry on. But anyway, what we're doing in today's video guys is something which, you know, I'm looking forward to. As you guys know, once again, I have called so many people. I have called the devil. I have called Jesus. Well, Jesus Christ. Those uh, those Jehovah Witnesses piss you off too much? Just want to say, I have seen the devil called on so many channels that are actually similar to Derf. Congrats on being original, y'all. It is top, top secret. And I'm going to respect those guidelines. I'm not going to be showing you the number. Oh. Hmm. Ironic. You can go ahead and ask him if you want, but he'd probably say no. So without further ado, let's get into calling him. I just need to go ahead and where are my notes so I can go ahead and type in his number. Okay, so his number is, obviously I'm going to have to hide my phone, it's here, but I'm going to turn it up so you guys can hear me typing it in. Okay, I'll start again. No, 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 no. Pay attention to that last part with the beeps, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, so that is the number. It is on my screen right now. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Obviously, I can't show you guys it because I am, I'm Gibster to told me not to because it's really important not to. But anyway, let's get into it. Call. Speaker. ringing quite a lot. Well, that's the thing, pal. It's not ringing at all. In fact, I thought you turned it up a while back. Oh, we don't know that. It was off screen. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna drop some logic on y'all right now. This part is interactive, so you can go to your iPhone's keypad. So go ahead. Go to your keypad, not your iPhone. Now turn up your volume on the side of your phone. The box that comes up that says volume should say ringer. Now also on the side of your beautiful iPhone, there is a little switch. Flip the switch so that it shows red where the switch part once was. You just set your phone on silent. Now turn up your volume once again. Now normal volume while on silent mode doesn't actually play. However, if your phone was on silent, that normal volume includes your keypad noise, which means one of two things. Either his phone was not on silent, or his phone was on silent and the beeps from the keypad are in fact fake. Can't have both, mate. Hello. Hello? What do you want? And we are done here because the comments all say what you all are thinking. That is not Donald J. Trump. It's more like Audacity smoked too much and now has a malignant bump. He ends the video with no outro at all. Now, the actual judgment part. A lot of people would probably say, Caracal, you're just a hater. If it's just a skit, obviously it's fake. Well, if it's a skit, then fine. But when you're doing a skit, number one, change your acting, teacher, because, man, what I just watched makes Little Rascals look like movie of the year. And two actually make a skit about something that's fucking original. I can't tell you how many times I've seen these calling videos from so many YouTubers, and it's the same thing. Every time, it's always calling somebody who is not gonna answer because it's not actually them. And it's always the same horrendous reaction, and it's always the same everything. I honestly don't even find it funny. To sum up what I just yapped about, there is no point to these videos anymore. So why do they do them? By looking at all of them, not just Durbin as Jacobs, I can probably guess two reasons. One, the fans apparently love them. And two, oh my god, two. If we look at all of these calling videos, Durv, Jacob, yada yada yada, they all have something in common. 
They are all extremely close to five minutes. If you're wondering why that's relevant, hear me out. They are incredibly easy to make. They may probably look easy to make just because these videos with the character stills are a pain in the ass, but again, hear me out. All you have to do to make this kind of video is to take your camera, which is expensive but paid for because you know why, place it in front of you and tell your friend to act like Satan himself when you call him. There you go. Combining the fact that they are easy to make and put out and the fact that gullible human beings enjoy them for whatever reason, they tend to make them a lot. See? But whatever, if you enjoy them, I won't judge you. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider consider leaving a like. Also, comment down below your own opinion about these calling videos. Just remember to respect everybody's opinion. And also, sorry about this video being a bit long. Usually that's because my videos are filled with attempts at humor. And with that being said, case closed. I can't find my way back to you Till you make amends with the demons you've been through And I can't regret leaving you alone Find your way back home